Greetings, this is Noblecale from Noblecale.com. I've got here a game called Return to the Dungeons of Doom, and it's described as a turn-based dungeon crawler, um, or otherwise a free graphical roguelike game. Uh, it's been made by Jacob Sadal Reins Hagen, um, and I found this one on Reddit's r slash play my game, um, just in its own thread in there, so, um, Play My Game is pretty much a great place to find some new stuff to try out. So I'd recommend you go have a quick look over there. Uh, the game is described as turn-based with perm death. Um, once you die, you have to start over again. So it's pretty much what you would expect. Um, it should sound roughly familiar. And it can be played with mouse, keyboard, or a combination of both. The keyboard commands can all be changed in-game on the option screen. So that's something that's going to make me really happy. Uh, Return to the Dungeons of Doom runs on Windows and Linux. I'm running the Windows build that's been provided. Um, other people can probably check out the Linux build and tell me whether it works or not. I just don't have the Linux box to test it on. Alright, let's dive right on in. So we've got a menu screen. Um, nice, reasonably consistent fonts. Um, well, this one here is different to this one up here, but it gets away with it. It works pretty well. Uh, nice menu screen. Um, load game is nulled out. I'm guessing that's because I don't have one. Uh, new game tutorials. Um, you know, I, I do like how it's got a little bit of commentary next to it. I maybe would want it not to cover over this one. Um, options, credits, and quit. Um, or I can use the keyboard. So I like it. Um, let's have a quick look in the options menu. Toggle auto item pickup, that sounds like a great thing. Um, select this to enable. Um, it, select this to disable items from being. Okay, so it's, it's not actually showing me that that has been enabled. A color change, a little star next to it, just something, a little check mark, um, a little tick would be great. Um, just to tell me, because it says down the bottom here. Um, select this to disable items, select this to enable, so by default I'm on disable and now I'm on enable but it could be a little bit clearer. Reconfigure controls, here's the controls, I've actually screenshotted those, whacked them into another monitor so I can refer to them. But it looks pretty logical, um, accept, move around, uh, attack, inventory, um, so it's basically meant to be ha played with the left hand on AFDS um, and the right hand on the arrow keys so it looks it looks pretty standard to me um, screen settings so it's got two different uh, reses I'm on 640 by 480 uh, just for the set heck of it uh, you've got music volumes sound volumes everything makes me really really so very happy here I I'm just going to jump straight in. Uh, I am playing blind. I haven't touched it before. I've played a bunch of roguelikes, so we'll see how it adapts. New game. Alright, so here I am. Uh, I immediately get dumped into a room. Hobgoblin, this creature is unharmed. It's angry. All these buttons here, which... Um, looking over at my controls, they're pretty much exactly the same as what's on my keys. So, observe is S, auto explore is E, and inventory is um, F. So, I'm just going to jump straight into the invent. Okay, so I get these wonderful little windows. Uh, they're a little bit crammed. I would prefer to see it a little bit bigger than this. But it looks like I've got a weapon slot and three armor slots. Um, I'm already wearing Enchanted Leather Armor plus one. I don't know if that comes by default, but cool. Enchanted, sorry, sorry, Enchanted Dagger plus two plus one. Um, so that's, it looks like I'm doing really well to start with. And then Identify Scroll and some food. Um, food, so food is clearly a metric here. I'm guessing this is mana or spells or something. And a heart for health. Looks pretty damn standard. Um, I'm guessing this would be damage, defense, weapon damage, um, and then no idea, but one of those would be 
what level I'm on. Welcome to level one. Looks pretty good. I'm going to close this because I can't equip any food. Um, pressing F doesn't close it. Uh, in fact, I don't know how to close it. Um, clicking on the arrows does. Uh, notice again, when I open up the inventory, I actually get the stats, the exact numbers. Otherwise, it's just bars, and I kind of like that. All right, let's have a look at this. Moving around, I get these sort of green circles to tell me waypoints I'm going to go to. Um, but if I hover over the goblin, hobgoblin, um, it turns into a red square. So I'm going to go with that. Miss, miss. Um, and I do have the combat log down here. Um, hobgoblin, I should be able to take this. So I'm just going to keep hitting. The hobgoblin hits you for 8 damage, HP of 4. It really sounds like I'm screwed here. Um, options. No, that's the options menu. Um, all of these look like they're going to take me a few turns. Um, a scroll that needs identification, a barrel, none of these things are going to help me, so I think this is going to be a short playthrough. Nope, I smashed it. Um, you hit the go goblin, hit point zero for 8 damage, so absolutely liquefied him. Um, I find that if I'm using a mouse, um, my left hand is sitting on WASD and I automatically went there for um, moving around. Um, I'm going to use the mouse for moving around. So I just picked up some gold and I can't pick up whatever that is. So that's clearly a um, bit of um, little decoration. All right. Um, it looks like I'm stuck in, but there is an observe. And hey, check that out straight in. All right, so impressions are pretty good so far. I like the graphics. I mean, they're freeware graphics, apparently. Um, but I think they kind of work. Everything agrees pretty well. I mean, you have different sort of fonts here and here, but I think that's necessary. I don't think you could do an entire game in this, and I think it it just kind of works. They're not rapidly different. Um, I've also got a minimap, which is sweet. Uh, this door looks interesting. Um, I'm going to observe a bit first. Um, normally I would get sort of a look, so I could have a look at a door or a square, but it's not possible, so I'm just going to push right in. Um, I'm still sitting on 6 health. Uh, I think this is bad. I think I'm going to get killed. Um, I'm going to run. Um, and I'm very much going to die here. Nope, didn't. Um, nailed it anyway, so here we go. Barrels are apparently smashable, so that, that's always great. I'm going to have a look in the invent. I've got all these different scrolls. Um, I'm going to use an ID scroll. I'm going to cast it um, on one of the other scrolls, because I know from using ro playing roguelikes that you never read unidentified scrolls. Boom, enchant weapon. That sounds really awesome. I'm going to use that on my dagger, because the dagger is already enchanted. Uh, cast. Um, oh, I think it automatically hit my dagger, um, so that's fine. Um, I can unequip the dagger. I can throw it. It when I hold unequip, it does give me a little bit of stats. This weapon has a damage bonus of two to hit bonus of two, so that was what my enchant weapon did. Um, no, I'm I'm pretty good. Um, so let's let's push. So, so far, I'm, I'm really digging it. It, it. Look, it's a simple little roguelike-y thing. Um, unidentified longsword. Uh, so very tempted to just use that without trying it. Um, but that would be a mistake, definitely. I'm going to eat some food. Um, I don't think that actually gave me any health or anything like that. Apparently, I've reached experience level 2. I don't know of a way to level up. Um... Options, restore default controls. I'm just cruising through my list of commands here. I'm not seeing it, so maybe if we just observe for a bit. Oh, there seem to be doors everywhere. Um, and I found a potion. Um, oops, I opened that by accident. Uh, I gained some purple. 
Hopefully that's not poison damage. Again, the bow. I'm I'm really liking this. This it. I think that for a free game, for a game that's got nice, consistent graphics, um, I think that it it's pretty damn good. Um, I think that this is something that I. I'll have to come back to you and tell you what it's like if I manage to get down to the lower levels and see whether it's, it holds up when I get a little bit further down. Um, but for now it's doing pretty okay. Um, something happened there. Um, that's a... okay, it says you fell asleep. Uh, so I'm guessing that's a field. Um, I can't disenchant that, so I can't get that gold. Um, what I really do like is I I really like the pathing. Path pathing's great. It tells me where it's going to go. Um, I like the interface. The interface is pretty sweet. Um, I think that the tutorial will explain this a bit better. I love the mini map. Mini map sweet. I like this, and I like that's just enough log. I'd like to see a button where I could see like an entire amount of log, uh, but for now it works. Um, I gained some health, and I don't know why. Um, but otherwise, look, I, I think it does pretty pretty good. Um, so, I appear to be lost, but I think I've just got to keep searching for um, more, more rooms or something. Um, but anyway, so that was a game called Return to the Dungeons of Doom. I think that it's well worth revisiting, and um, maybe I'll come back to it. I'm not too sure. Um... Graphically, it's good. I mean, I know they're using freeware stuff um, with some of their own stuff thrown in, but it's nice and consistent. Sometimes when people use freeware stuff, they just kind of throw any old stuff together. This this looks and fits. It's almost as if it was made for it. It's pretty perfect. Uh, let's go back to this menu screen. I love it. It's pretty damn good. Um, I've got all the options and I can control with keyboard or mouse and it tells me what these options are going to do for me I've got save and quit which is a roguelike standard um, pretty much it's hitting all the buttons for me um, and available in Windows and Linux so that was a game called Return to the Dungeons of Doom um, by Zern Junk uh, otherwise known um, by that name that I read out earlier, which I can't quite... Oh, there's a credit section. Uh, Jacob Sadal Reinshagen. Um, please forgive me if I'm mispronouncing that. And then there's a whole lot of music, which um, I've squelched it for this video, but it's pretty damn awesome. Um, so you should check it out for that. Um, either way, that was Return to the Dungeons of Doom. And I'm going to move on to the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.